So next one is we want to make it a big announcement for our new team. We're putting together how you put, how you tie the limit, coach. Gonna, how you name we're it. We're putting together an elite team, and it's going to be seventh graders going into eighth. They're seventh now, and they're going into eighth. That's going to be our first team, and that team is going to get a lot. And the reason we use elite with that team is they're going to be elite after everything we put them through. These are the players that I love basketball. I've been playing it for a long time. I play at high level. I love the bright lights. I love the work. I love coming to practice. So they're going to be multiple days of speed agility. They have to attend an academy to do skill work. They're going to have their own practice. They're going to do strength training. We'll talk about nutrition. We're making sure these kids are just good citizens. They are ready. They're going to be walking into high school next year, and they're going to stand out immediately because they are doing what it takes to get to that next level now. And it's fundamentally different because normally our travel teams are summer teams. Yep. And so we travel in the summer. And that's what a lot of our U teams. If you look at, if you know how we normally structure it, we have our traveling teams on our local teams. Yep. And that normally breaks down to black and orange. This is our year-round traveling team. This is the team that, that goes out actively and seeks to smoke year-round. Yep. And so we're going to be in all the big tournaments or whatnot. So we're um, play tournaments and we're going to play league play. So that's tournaments and league play. I'll make this very clear if you're going to be on this team. We're your main team. We are A-okay with school teams. Schools are done at 4 o'clock. I mean, that has nothing to do but what we do, okay, and what we do. So don't get, oh, I can't play because I'm playing for my school. We practice at three o'clock. That's nothing to do with us. Go play for your school. Everyone plays for their school. We got that. That's fine. If you play, if you have a theater team, when this is anything beyond that, you can talk to us about it, but investing a lot of time and resources in these kids, not fair for nine kids to be doing one thing and the 10th kid gets to do whatever they want. It's got to be structured really well. Here's the breakdown of it, because we'll get into the brass tacks of it for the first season. Yeah. The way we have our academy structured is we have, you could either pay weekly, yep. $50 a week. Um, it's not per session, it's per week. You could pay monthly, which is about $150 a month. Yep. You get a lot for that under $50 a month, because most development programs will charge you by the hour. Yep. We're charging you by the month. Yeah, you show up to stuff, you have no, you have no questions. Yeah. You have no questions. In the average month, we have how many academy sessions? What? Oh man, we're doing them twice a week now. So eight, eight. So you're, and those are about ninety minutes a piece, oh. which is way more than an hour. And if we broke that down by hours, it's a pretty competitive thing. And I was going to stay there. Yep. For the team option. We're talking about 250. Now, it gives you all the training and all the development, all the team fees and all the other stuff. And so if we bring you onto that elite team, that's what the price point is. There's gonna be a weekly option yeah. and it'll be a monthly option. Yeah. But that, that's what it is. That, that's what it is. And the reason why we're doing it, why we're saying it's a monthly option, it just makes it simple and it makes the investment simple. And uh, we know things come up in life. And so we'd rather have the monthly thing where you assess on a month-to-month -month basis. And there's going to be things where sometimes somebody acts up at school or acts a fool in practice. Yeah. I've had it where kids act a fool in, in tournaments and they get demoted to training. Right. But if you want to stay on the teams, this is what the team's thing is going to look like. And to be honest with you, I'm being transparent with y'all. This is probably what our team option is going to look like next year because I want y'all to understand that everything centers around academy. Right. And right. that's what we've been working towards because to be honest with you, the kids that are active in academy have our best outcomes. I'm seeing a lot of our kids that are on top level teams, right. not just on them starting and not just starting contributing right. right in the state. Like these are kids that went through our same academy. Right. When you the results are there, you can just go ask a player, you can go to Google. Right. Or you can come to Academy and sit and watch. Right. And See the watch. kind of work we're doing. And the reason why we're pushing Academy so hard is because that's the foundation of all of our best teams. The kids that attend Academy consistently, the teams that have a bunch of kids that are uh, attend Academy sessions regularly are having the best outcomes. And so that's why we're pushing it. That's why we push it so hard. And so moving forward, all our teams go through academy. Yep. And 
This is just an extension of it. So when I'm saying all that to say this, the team option is just an extension of Basketball Academy because sure. it all is based on Basketball Academy. So he gets ready to go to Basketball Academy, plus you get uniforms and practice yeah. times and coaches. Everything. It takes care of everything. So you don't have to worry about it. The only consideration you're going to have as a parent is possibly travel. Yep. And we'll sort that piece out when we get to it because we're working on a, some bigger sponsorships because of the higher profile team and kind of figure out what this piece looks like. But if you get selected to this team, understand that we're going to be playing all year round. Yeah. And that's the expectation. And we're not saying that you have to be exclusive to basketball. We're not saying that you have to be, you can only be one sport. But if you're on this team, this is the commitment to you want to play basketball. Oh, yeah. If you're on the orange or black team, we have soccer players, football players, baseball players, and all other stuff. And th- these are the multi-sport athletes. Yeah. And basketball might be their favorite. But- Some of our best teams are comprised of mostly soccer players. Yeah. And so we don't have a problem with them. We want you to play multiple sports. But if you sign up for this team, we're having an expectation. While you're with us, the basketball right. has to be your primary focus this, while this you're with this, this specific day. team. Now, I'm not saying... Track season, you can't run track. Right. We'll we'll tailor our schedule to accommodate that kind of stuff. But this is a commitment to play basketball at a high level. And we'll adjust it per season. So if we know we're going into football season, we play year-round. We're aware of that. Yeah, we're not going to have heavy games in October if we have football season. But But we're still going to have games. No, yeah. In November, you got to know that. We are going to have a heavy schedule. Yeah, when it's basketball season, we're going to play, but we're still going to travel year round. I yeah. hope you're understanding what we're saying. If you have any questions about other sports and you get selected for this team, talk to coach. Yeah. That's what I'll say. Don't yeah, don't talk amongst yourselves or other parents. Talk to us directly. And let's be real. Let's be honest here. This is going to be a hyper competitive team because we're going to take 10 with two reserves, right? Yeah. We're going to be, it's going to be 10 with two reserves. Yeah. The competition for this is going to be internal. It's going to be high. And you may run into a parent that will lead you astray because they see opportunity for their kid. Thank you for saying that. Uh, Oh, we're not doing this. We're not going to that training. We're not going to that camp. Meanwhile, they're on all the trainings and all the camps. (laughs) Because for us, it's not a big deal. But for y'all, for the parents and stuff, there's a level of competition. We see us all as one big unit that works together. But... There's an internal competition. And that's life, man. I, we, I see it at AAU level. I see it where, yeah. you know, oh, man, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym. Oh, I'm not. And then the kid's there. Work with a trainer. You look on Instagram, they work with a trainer. Like, this is competition, man. So don't listen to other parents is what we're saying. Look, talk to coach if you have any questions about whether this team is the right fit for your kid. And talk directly to him if you get chosen. We're going to be having a tryout here. What will we say? And probably about the next week or two. We're yeah. going to be doing a tryout here pretty soon to fill in the gaps. If your kid is on one of our teams and we've underlined their name or put a parentheses around their name, we're going to be talking to you directly and just floating the idea out there. But again, it's a commitment. Talk to coach. That's what the elite team is. And I'm be honest with you. Here's the thing. And this is something we discussed eternally, but I'm going to let it out. This elite team is going to determine a lot of things. Their uniforms are going to be the CMA standard uniforms, okay. except the elite team are going to have a badge or something that puts it, that signifies they're on that team. They're going to determine what uniforms we're going to wear. They're going to be the blueprint for other high-level, year-round traveling teams. And so there's going to be a lot that goes into this. We right. say a lot going into it because this is the team. Now, for the young men that are going to be on this first elite team, this is not a license to be buttholes in, no. in practice. Matter of fact, the expectations of behavior for you are higher. When you're in an academy, the expectation is you're helping out kids that aren't as that, that aren't as experienced as you. It's you are going to be called on to lead drills. You are going to be called on to actually step up and be actual leaders and supportive. Yep. of things the tickling each other and playing around and wrestling around and all other stuff you're going to feel like the whole building just fell on top of you if you get called out for it yep. because if you're on these teams the expectation is 
that much higher for behavior because we have to be able to take you out on the road as our ambassadors for our program and show the world what you've accomplished. Yep. So the profile's high, don't get gassed up yep. because the worst thing in the world is, all right, so that was a disaster. You cut up. Here's your regular jurors. You're still, you still got to do all the practices and obligations of the elite team but you're going to be playing with the black team for a while. And we have a couple of We have the reserve that we had. To, they're going to fill in for you. And, and, and you got to earn your way back on. It has to be that way. We're trying to get these kids ready for the next level. And I hope a parent or a guardian would appreciate what we're doing right. with this team and all of our teams. You're putting you in the right level and the right level to, to get yourself better. Like you can be together and like I said, you can work your way up and pass any of these people. So it's like, we want it to be like that. There's no, there is no, you're stuck on this team. There's nothing you do. Oh, you, this is not a guarantee you would stay on that team if you stop working. And your behavior has to align with it. Here's what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to say. Imagine this as the varsity team. And we're going to simulate what it's like being on a varsity team at a high level program, not a varsity team where they ain't winning nothing. We're talking about a high level varsity program where the coach has plenty of options and everybody's on that. Everybody's on that team has earned their spot. That's what this is going to be. So for the players, if you make it, congratulations. That's not a word. So this is the incentive. If you want to learn what it's like to be a varsity player and feel like the entire varsity thing feels like, and your goal is to be on your varsity high school team, you're going to get a taste of that experience and the expectations that come along with it. Yeah, there's going to be outliers. We ain't going to have those outliers. We're not going to have them super talented, uber talented outliers who are absolute disaster and train wreck in every other aspect no. of their life in terms of managing themselves. We're not, we're it's, it's not doing it. It's not going to happen. So this is what this team is. We're going to be launching it here. We're going to be reaching out. Spaces are super limited. If you get a call, that means that we see the behaviors and we see the skills in your kid to, to be on that squad. Yep. And this is going to be the first of a couple of other teams that we have at different age levels. Because we got a couple of, we got some third graders. Yeah, it's team loaded. Third graders, boy, those are loaded. Our sixth graders. Yep, yep. Our sixth graders. Man, it's got to yep. be. And so we're looking at duplicating this, but this is the pilot team, and you got to be on point with this one. Yep. So we're going to have fun. We're going to go out there, and we're going to come out. Yep. So that's what we have for that team. Anything else we want to include with that? No, I think it's, again, if you want to do anything – any camp or you ready to sign up and get ready to go. We will answer any questions, but the longer you think and ask a bunch of questions, it's you just be ready to go. So when it's the date is there, be ready to go. Have your kid ready to go. Start talking to them now. Have them ready. And for our current players, if you notice the shift in tone, man, we serious now. Yep. And so some of the expectations that we have for this elite team are going to start trickling into other aspects of life at Academy and life and speed and agility. So just be prepared for it. Pat us on the back. Nope. We've done a great job to let the world know we're not a babysitting surf for wayward teenagers. Nope. <laughs> we're, we are a training business and that's what we're in the business of training. And if you're not about the business, if you're not in the business of getting better, we might not be the right fit for you. So be aware of that. We still got our speed and agility sessions going on. We're going to be shifting a little bit, shifting some things around. We have some different looking hours for our summer schedule to accommodate. Yeah. We got back to Saturday and Sunday off the road. Saturday and Sunday, we have Tuesday nights. I have some special college things during the day, and that's completely by like invite only, like the college stuff. But that's, you can call us and we can get you in those. But we have some of our top level guys that are in that. But we'll add some hours in there. And then we're setting up the small group training. So the first few people that sign up for those, are, we'll start those on Saturdays. If you inquire about, oh, two things. If you inquire about the workouts with the college guys, you need to be ready to go. That, that's one that you got to, you have to really that's take a self inventory level. and they will push you. What about open gyms and stuff like that? What so, are so open gyms are going to be running on Sundays. And so they're going to be, there's two. So open gym, we have a high school, college open gym. So that, yeah, that'll be 
for invite, invite uh, RC Lane kids, obviously, can come to those. Uh, and we've actually had some in- inquiries from 7th and 8th graders that we've actually had come and can come to those as well. And I think they do one at 6 o'clock, too, that Coach Joel will run that one. But if you want to try that, you're in 8th grade going uh, to ninth, or you want to fill it, we've had about four or five kids come into those. So, and those will be at Bellevue, Bellevue East on Sundays at... I have seven, I think it was seven to nine, I think. Yeah, it's a business, and we got to make sure that our coaches are paid. We pay for rentals, our tournaments are paid, league fees are paid, so we have to charge. Take advantage of it while still included in your service package. If you are a member of Academy, you're speeding agility because it's going to switch up here moving forward here pretty soon, just yeah. because it's got to be a standalone service at, at some point in time. Right. But it's an opportunity for you to get some run with some more experienced players. So that's what I got. I know this episode ran long, but we had a lot of information to unload on y'all.